Please join me on page 295 for the Amidah. Adonai sefatai tiftahu fi agita hilatecha Baruch Adonai Eloheinu velohe avoteinu vimoteinu Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leia, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor Vehanora, El Elyon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Vekone Hakol. Vizocher chaste avot vimot, umevi gula livne vnehem, le manchimo be ahava, melecho zeru moshia umagain, baruchatadonai, magain avraham vizrat sara, atagi bor leolam adonai, Rav Lehoshia, Mashiva Ruach, Umorina Gashem, Mechal Kel Chaim Bechesen, Mechaye Kol Chai Berachamim Rabim, So Mechno Flim Verofe Cholim, Umatir Asurim, Umekaye. So, please stay far. Me chamo chabal givurot, who me do melach, melach me me to me chaye, who mats me ach Yeshua, when a man at al hachayot kochay. Baruch atah Adonai, mechayei kochai. 
נגדש את שמך בעולם, כשם שמעתי שימותו בשמי מרום. כגתוב על יד נביאך, וקר הסר זב ואמר. קדוש, 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 אדוני צבאות, מלוך כל הארץ כבודו. אז בקורש גדול, אל תהיה וחזק משמיעים קול, מנסים לעומת שרפים, לעומתם ברוך יומרו, ברוך כבוד אדוני ממקומו. ממקומך מלכנו תופיע תופיע ותמלוך עלינו כי מחכים, כי מחכים אנחנו לך מתי תמלוך, תמלוך בציון בקרוב בימינו לעולם ועת ישכון תתקדל ותתקדש בתוך ירושלים עירך תתקדל ותתקדש בתוך ירושלים עירך לדור ודור ולנצח נצחים בעינינו תראנה תראנה מלכותך כדבר אמור בשירי פוזך. ימלוך אדוני לעולם אלוהייך ציון לדור ודור הללויה. לדור ודור נגיד גודלך ולנצח נצחים קדושך נקדיש ושיבך אלוהינו מפינו לא ימוש לעולם ועד כי על מלך גדול וקדוש אתה ברוך אתה אדוני האל הקדוש continue with the words of Hishamru on the third line of page 307. Vishamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-shabbat Asot et ha-shabbat take a few moments for a silent prayer and we will continue on page 319.
And we turn to page 319. And for so many of you, this is such a um, beautiful moment that you all know and, um, and remember. Uh, and for some of you, this is a very new, uh, this is when the Noam uh, community opens its talit in embrace uh, for Birchat HaShalom, or we call it a blessing of peace or priestly blessing. Please make sure nobody stands alone. We do have, have guests among us when we recite this blessing. And uh, blessing of peace, uh, look around and see if there's anybody standing that needs this uh, uh, embrace. Sometimes people want to stay alone because of their uh, you know, needs, but it's certainly wonderful to be asked, can I give you this embrace of sweetness and, good, uh, and goodness? So don't worry about the page. It is on page 319, and our service team will lead it. <laughs> standing and turn to page 321.
please turn to page 381. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Be the one who makes peace, grant peace to us, to all places in the world that need some peace. Let's join together. Oh, say shalom in Roma. I think we're warmed up. Or certainly from the beginning before Birhot Hashachar is we ask to warm up, then you know it takes just a little bit of time to unhinge and uh, it certainly happens if you allow yourself to travel uh, the beautiful pathways uh, that uh, meant to open and to allow us this journey. So we are continuing our service with very special a special Torah reading and uh, opportunity to learn and to expand. So many of you here are friends and family of our extraordinary women who in their adult uh, years decided to take on um, learning and travel through the pages of Jewish history and Jewish present into the heart of their tradition um, throughout the years. So, it is my honor to ask Robin Gitterman, who is our partner seat this morning, to come forward uh, as Robin will help us to organize and to celebrate these momentous occasions. So. But before we start the Torah service, we are going to um, have our Talit presentation to our adult B'nai Mitzvah students. So please rise, uh, students, not everybody. And um, and put on your before you put on your talit, we're going to say the blessing together. So you can repeat after me. 
when everybody's ready. So, um, B'nai Mitzvah students, stand up. Stand up. Can, can we just ask you to come so we can see this incredible uh, moment? So just come all. Uh, come up. Sorry, one moment. It's a pretty special item of the year of learning. You don't want to put on someone else's talit or a borrowed talit, mm -hmm. which you're allowed to do. But it's worth it just to wait a little bit. And so there's this tension in the air, as it should be, for something very special about to happen. So, so repeat after me. Baruch Ata Adonai. Baruch Ata Adonai. Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Asher kidushanu bamitzvotav. Asher kidushanu bamitzvotav. Vitzivanu. Vitzivanu. Lehit atef batzitzi. Lehit atef batzitzi. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Mazal tov. What a Mazal. sight. What a beautiful sight. Okay. So you're welcome to be seated. What a beautiful tradition that is to put on your telly for the first time before your bat mitzvah. Shabbat shalom, everyone. And welcome to the old timers like me and the new timers and the first timers. We're so happy to have you here. Welcome. Uh, so, um, if you would like to pick up a chumash at this time before our Torah service, they are on the side wall. There are four um, versions that you can choose from. And uh, we are inviting children to come to the bima as well if they are in the sanctuary. Carrying our Torah this morning will be Julie Grossman. And opening our Aron will be Hector, Diego, and Naomi Santesteban. If they are here, please come to the Bima. I want to also make a quick little note that if you are under the age of bar or bat mitzvah and you're doing it already, you're so smart, please come on up to the ark. We're going to give you a Torah and be part of a Torah parade. And then once we do our Torah parade, we're going to take anybody, b'nai mitzvah and under, we're going to go downstairs for our own very special program. Kids are welcome. Parents are also welcome. And you can stay here if you'd like. The choice is yours. Page 383. In kamocha va'elohi madonai, Malchut echa malchut kol olamim u'memshat echa bechodor vador Adonai melech Adonai malach Adonai imloch leolam ba'em Adonai oz le'amo yitain Adonai evarech et amo v'shalom avarachamim heitiv avirtzoncha et zion tivnei chomot Yerushalayim ki vecha levad batachnu melech el ram 
venisa adon olamim. Vayhi bin Soharon, vayomer Moshe, kum Adonai, v'yafutu o'yevecha, v'yanusu misanecha, mipanecha, ki mitzion teitzei Torah, ki mitzion teitzei Torah, ulevar Adonai, Yerushalayim Baruch Shenatan Torah Torah Baruch Shenatan Torah Torah Le'amo Yisrael B'Kdushato Three lines from the bottom on page 387. Be be anarachets, the leash me kadisha, kadisha yakira, anamar to shbehan. Be anarachets, be anarachets, the leash me kadisha. Kadisha Yakira Anamar Tushbehan Yehe Rava Kodamach Tetif Tahlibi Be Oraita Vetashli Mishalin Tehlibi the Liba de Holamach Yisrael, the Tavul Chayin, the Lishlam. Amen. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Echad Eloheinu, Gadol Adoneinu, Kadoshimo Shemo Shemo Tiferet v'haneitzach v'hachon ki chom b'shamayim uvaret ki chom b'shamayim uvaret lecha Adonai l'mam lecha l'minaseh v'chol rosh romemu. Adonai Eloheinu Vehishtachavu Vehishtachavu Lehadam Raglav Kadoshu Romemu Romemu Adonai Eloheinu Vehishtachavu Vehishtachavu Lehar Kodsho Kikadosh Adonai Eloheinu 
Just, this is a lovely moment in the service to connect and reconnect. And uh, our young participants uh, holding on to little plush sweet Taurus are not so ready to leave them behind. So you're welcome to be seated, Taurus on the table. And uh, Rabbi Ryan is taking these beautiful young people for a special program with their parents. If so, and if not, parents can stay with us but um, our young participants have a mar marvelous opportunity to be um, uh, to be included and um, have a program of their own. So at the moment, a group of uh, deeply intelligent, sensitive, thoughtful women have spend a year of learning uh, in a small group setting with tremendous uh, kavana uh, and took on this task with great seriousness and uh, love. And so this is usually the time in our service when we introduce our Torah and expand on it, we teach. And so it is my pleasure to ask Ty Hammersville to come forward as a representative of the class for a delivery of Tavar Torah. So hi. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. Today, I have the pleasure of presenting this Devar Torah to you on behalf of our Bat Mitzvah class. Hello. <laughs> no? Yes? Do I have to yell? No. <laughs> okay. I have the pleasure of presenting this Devar Torah to you on behalf of our Bat Mitzvah class of 2023. Janina, Ilona, Leonora, Beverly, and myself, Ty. We find ourselves at an intersection of personal growth and communal legacy, and know this memory's weight. We must admit that this week's Parsha, Miketz, is a narrative that unfolds rich with both action and symbolism. And believe me, it wasn't easy to condense it from the initial 22 and a half pages, but we did it, so here we go. The story so far. Joseph was enslaved in Egypt for more than seven years. Pharaoh asked him to interpret two puzzling dreams. Joseph's skill in dream interpretation recommended by Pharaoh's cupbearer, impress Pharaoh. I'm done, I'm joking. <laughs> um, uh, the dreams portray thin and fat cows, ears of grain, and a recurring number seven. Joseph interprets them as signaling, signaling an upcoming seven years of abundance, followed by seven years of famine. Impressed by Joseph's adeptness, Pharaoh promotes him, along with new clothes, new jewelry, and a new name, and probably many a delicious banquet. 
fast forward the fast past years of prosperity during the years of famine. Joseph's brothers travel to Egypt in search of food. Unbeknownst to them, Joseph, who keeps his high identity hidden, puts his brothers through tests, imprisonments, and accusations of conspiracy. This daring depiction of espionage, betrayal, growth, and reconciliation written over 5,000 years ago connects us with events occurring today and at our bit mitzvah journey with relevance and poignancy. How is this possible? What can we learn from Joseph's colorful journey and how is it relevant to us in our lives today? Our Parsha presents a narrative brimming with many themes, subtle inferences and profound hypotheses. Amid today's tapestry of teachings, we observed a prevalent thread woven throughout, one of memory's role in shaping our actions and relationships. We briefly discussed the two double-edged recurring themes of remembering and forgetting and acceptance and rejection, both pivotal and relevant in Joseph's life, but also resonate deeply within our personal collective experiences. Joseph's early life is marked by conflict, betrayal, which sets the stage for the complexities of his character. His ability to let go of rejection from his brothers becomes an aspect of resilience. Despite enduring trauma throughout abandonment, rejection, and being sold into slavery, Joseph's ability to move forward is dependent on forgetting these hardships while maintaining a rooted faith in God. Forgetting these hardships empowers Joseph, giving him the strength to prosper and even influences the names he gives his children. Manasseh means God made me forget all my hardships and Ephraim means God made me fruitful in the land of my suffering. During the suspenseful and arresting interactions with his brothers, Joseph's deliberate choice to present himself as a stranger, whether through host demeanor or a transformed regal appearance, introduces the complexities of concealment and connectivity echoed throughout our Pasha. We find parallels in our journey to Bat Mitzvah and throughout our lived experiences. Together, we enthusiastically shared an abundance of, on occasion, uncomfortable personal memories, personal traditions, and personal challenges. These encapsulated spheres of self-bonding one to another, bonding us to you and to all, providing us the strength to pursue becoming bat mitzvah. The need to be known and understood is fundamental in forging meaningful collect connections, such as with here, you today, alongside the occasional necessity for concealment, which safeguards against potential emotional pain. As Joseph engages with his brothers, his deliberate concealment of identity becomes a strategic tool for testing his siblings' sincerity and moral transformation. Joseph's actions manifest a nuanced exploration of the emotional scars left by their betrayal. Here, we can be reminded of the intricate dance between memory and trauma and the quest for identity, a dance that resonates deeply within the fabric of our shared human experience of living whilst Jewish. We as humans often experience this delicate balance, forgiveness, often involves a measure of forgetting, yet the act of remembering when done with contemplation and guidance over time holds the key to profound healing. The human condition is timeless. The familial dysfunction suffered by Joseph and his family persists today through different iterations. Thankfully today we have universal healthcare institutions that can help mitigate mostly the general dis destructive force that familiar, familial trauma creates. Drawing from Rabbi Sachs' theoretical findings, parallels between Joseph's struggle for acknowledgement with his within his family and Israel's unwavering quest for recognition and agency in the Middle East unforgiving geopolitical landscape are evident. Joseph represents Israel and his family are the Israeli Aboriginal neighboring countries. 
the rejection of Joseph by his father and brothers and the rejection of Israel by the surrounding countries is rooted in a dynamic interplay of religious identity, historical narratives and geopolitical tensions, both historically and presently. The Jewish experience grapples with the challenge of being acknowledged, accepted and truly seen. Here we shall stop for a moment to pause and breathe. We cannot stand before you and not speak to the tragic events brutally culminating on October 7th and continuing as we sit here. We can do nothing. We can do nothing but cast, it can do nothing but cast a sorrowful shadow and contempt, contempt, sorry, sorry, sorry. It can do nothing but cast a sorrowful and contemplative shadow over our reflections today echoing echoes of terrifying ordeals reverberates through generations, raising questions about recognition, understanding, and the ongoing pursuit of identity and safety in our world. Without a doubt, the collective trauma resonates deeply, emphasizing our urgency of recognition, our empathy, and our understanding. In the face of such profound loss, the quest for a shared and united cohesive identity and the need for to be acknowledged and accepted become poignant themes relevant historically and as bat mitzvah. Just as Joseph sought recognition from his brothers, we stand before you together on the threshold of our bat mitzvah, drawing strength from timeless stories that have shaped our that have shaped us for centuries, seeking to forge connections and understandings, understanding within the tapestry of our own identity and the shared history of our community. We're reminded that the power of ritual lies not in the individual experience, but in the ability to weave personal narratives into the broad fabric of our collective Jewish identity. Our journey brought us together our journeys brought together personal memories and traditions from around the globe, positively impacting our collective understanding of our Jewish identity. And we've developed a heartfelt connection to not only each other, the Tanakh, but also with our Dache Noam family. We recognize the resilience inherent in the human, in the human spirit and the enduring quest for meaning, connection, and contemplation. This quest not only echoes through time, but also finds harmony in the sacred stories found within the Torah that guide us towards a future night united as one. We have had such, a rich, such rich opportunities for growth through the teachings of many throughout our Doche Noam community, most notably the depth and warmth of Rabbi Tina Grimberg the passion and canonical knowledge of Cantor Dana, and of course, for Karen, for who kept us together, for the most part, <laughs> encouraged us to keep at it and for keeping us all on track and focused, which was often quite challenging. <coughs> that is all for me, and I wish Shabbat Shalom to you all. Beautifully delivered and uh, so soulful and filled with um, elegance and uh, just beautifully written. So for those of you who would like to read it again, we'll make sure it is available to you, as well as the reading that Beverly read by Marjorie Pierce, which was excellent. Uh, and uh, it requires a second take. Uh, and uh, so we will make sure you have it for those of you who are interested. And we continue with story reading and celebrations. So much to ponder, Ty. So gracefully delivered and insightful and compassionate. 
Who knew? I knew. Okay. So we come to our Torah reading this morning, which is going to be bountiful and complex and a joy. So first, and I hope I don't mess up. So our first Aliyah this morning, uh, we will be calling Fridel Brief and Harold Brief. Ve'azor ve'ogain ve'yoshiach lo'chol hasim bo ve'namar amein ha'kol havo godel elohenu utnu chavad la Torah nala amod freda la batzvi ve'matal zvi ben Shmuel lazar ve'golda lalia harishona barush atan Torah. Leamo Yisroel, Bikdu Shato, Veatem Hadvekim Baranay Lochem, Hayom Kohem, Hayom. And our first reader this morning will be Leonora Roschwerger. Is Leonora here today? Yes. There you are. We just want to touch it. Oh, yes. 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 No, we're going to touch it. Baruch Adonai ham vorach le'olam va'ed. Baruch Adonai ham vorach le'olam va'ed. Baruch Adonai ha'adonai, melech ha'olam, asher kirvanu l'adorato, benatan lanu et torato, baruch ha'adonai, noten ha'torah. Amen. Vahi mi kehets shenatahim yamim ufaro kolehem vehine omer al hayo vehine min hayo olod. Sheva Baron, ye for Mare Uvriho Basar, Vatirena Bahu Vehine Sheva Baron, Achero O Lord Achrehen, mean Hayor. Rahot mare veda kohot basar vat vata amo hodna etzel haparot al sefar hayor. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Ashre Britan Lanu et Torat Emet, Vechae Olam, no Tebetor Henu, Baruch Ata Adonai, no Tain Hatorah. Yes, your go hair. Beautiful. There's this one too. Thank you. And for our second Aliyah this morning, we are calling Paula Arlene Kuczynski. Nala Amod, Perla Ahuva Bad Yitzhak Ve Esther Rivka, Lalia Hashnia. And our second Torah reader will be Janina Lasky. Oh. <laughs> 
Baruch Ed Adonai Hamvarah. Baruch Adonai Hamvarah Le'olam Va'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamvarah Le'olam Va'ed. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Halom. Asher Natan Lanu Torah Temet Vekhe. Olam Natah Batalchinu. Baruch Atah Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. And at this time, we will ask you to rise as we offer a Mishaberach for those in need of healing. <coughs> May all those in need of healing and those providing their care be blessed with wisdom, stamina, loving kindness, and communal support. Guard them beneath the wings of your Shekhinah, sending them comfort and relief speedily in our days. Blessed are you, source of life, who helps us to bring light where there is darkness and healing where there is brokenness. May all be granted faith, hope, and refuach shlema, and let us say, Amen. Amen. You may be seated. <coughs> For the fourth Aliyah this morning, we are calling Molly Neufeld. Nala Amwad, did I say fourth? I am so sorry, I meant third, I am sorry. My apologies. Nala Amwad, Malka Batwili Vigraciela, Lalia Hashlishit. And our next reader this morning will be our cantor, Dana Balin Fleischman. Parehu et Adonai mevorach. Baruch Adonai mevorach le'olam ba'ed. Baruch Adonai mevorach le'olam ba'ed. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam asher kerbanu l'avodato benatan lanu et torato. Baruch ata Adonai noten ha'torah. Amen. Amen. Vatsiflana hashibolim hadakot, eid sheva hashibolim habriot vahamaleot, 
Vayikatz paro, vehine chalom. Vayhi vaboker, vatipa emrucho. Vayishlach, vayikra. Erko hajume mitraim, verko hachamecha. Vaisaper paro lahem, et chalomo. Vein boter otam, lefaro. Vaida ber sar hamashkim, et paro lemor, et chatai, ani maskir hayom. Baruch Hata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Natan Lanu Torah Temet, Vechai Olam Nata Betocheinu, Baruch Hata Adonai, Notena Torah. Amen. And for the fourth Aliyah, we are calling Esther Enkin. <coughs> former president of our congregation. One of many, yes. Nala Amod, Esther Rachel, Bad Avraham, Shmar Yahu Verezel, Lalia Harevi'it. Barhu et Adonai Hamvarach. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Leolam Ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Leolam Ba'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kervanu Lavodeto Vinatan Lanu Et Toreto Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Amen Paro Katsap Alav Adav Vayitain Oti Vimishmar Beit sar hatabachim oti, veit sar haofim, v'nachal machalom, balayla echad ani vahu, ish kafitron chalamo chalamanu, v'shamitanu, Na'ar ivri, Evan l'sar ha'tabachim, v'anesaper lo, v'yiftor lanu et chalomotinu. Ish, no. Ish ka'chalomo, Ish ka'chalomo patar. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech olam, asher natan lanu torat emet, v'chai olam natah betocheinu, Baruch atah Adonai, notena torah. For the fifth Aliyah this morning, we are calling Cantor Dana Balin Fleischman and Karen Weinthal. Nala Amod, Hachazanit Dina Bracha, Batchune Ephraim, Vebela Rachel, Lea Badavri Moshe Veeda, Lalia Hachamishit. Baruch et Adonai Hamvorach. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Leolam Ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Leolam Ba'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Asher Kervanu Lavodato. Venatan Lanu et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. 
Beverly Bloom is going to be our Torah reader. Share Parchalanu Kate Haya Oti Heshi Velkani Baoto Tala Vishla Paro Vikra at Joseph Baritu Minhabor Vaigalach Vaihalef Simlo Tal Vayavo El Paro. Vayomer Paro, El Yosef, Chalom, Chalom Ti, Ufoter, Einotau, Vani, Shamati Alacha, Lemor, Tishma Chalom, Liftoroto. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech alam, asher natan lanu Torah emet, v'chaye olam nata v'toheinu, Baruch atah Adonai, notin ha-Torah. For our sixth aliyah, it is my honor to call Rabbi Tina Grimberg, Rabbi Rina Arshanoff, and teacher Baruch Siena. Nala Amod, Harav Yonit Bat Zalman Vesara, Harav Rivachaya Bat Chena Vebenyamin, Baruch Dov Ben Moshe HaKohen Vidovora, Lalia Hashlishit, and our next reader will be Ilona Rodos. For who at the night on Borah? Baruch had a night on Borah, the alum by it. Baruch had a night on Borah, the alum by it. haolam. I share Kervanu la hodato, Venatan la nu et torato. Baruch had a night, no Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher natan lanu Torah temet, 
Amen. Le alam le alma yo maya yit barach yit barach vish tabach vit po ar vit romam vit nase vit adar vit ale vit alal shame de kudisha berihu leila min kober chata vishirata tush bechata benechemata Dami ran be alma, vimeru, amen. And now for the Maftir Aliyah, this special moment, we will call our Benot Mitzvah forward. Ilona Rodos, Janina Lasky, Taisha Hammersfeld, Leonora Rochwerger, and Beverly Bloom. Nala amod, nala amod, nala amod, kehila benot mitzvah, chazak. Leora Yaakov Lili, chazia bat shoshana veyoel ben shlomo. Shlomad krona bat avraham vesara, meira bat ahuva veshimon. Bela bat zave vebrundala, laliot, La Maftir. And our next reader, Torah reader this right morning, right. will yep. be Harava. Harav, you, you need Badaman with Sara. Yeah, we go right now. I love doing this in your presence. Okay. Hold it. Vayavu Yehuda ve'achav be'it ha'Yosef ve'hu odenu sham ve'yuplu lefanav arza ve'yomer lachem Yosef machamaseh chazer asher asitem asher asitem halo yedatem minacher shinacher shish asher kamoni. Vayo mer Yehuda, manomar ladoni, uman edaber, uman itzdadak ha Elohim. Matza et avon avadecha, hineinu avadim ladoni, gam anachnu gam, asher nimtza hagavia beyado. Oh. 
ברוכתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת, וחיינו נתן בתוכנו, ברוכתה אדוני, נותן התורה. Give me two seconds. So actually, it's not two seconds. So anytime I say two seconds, it's not two seconds. But you all know. That. So I just want to pause for a moment. And those of you who are on Zoom, warmest greetings to you. Some of you are family and friends of our uh, extraordinary women and celebrate their accomplishments. Some of you need to be in safety of your home. And we are connecting through this magic and of Zoom. Now, those of you who just do not see where this unseeing eye is is hidden. Uh, there is very, very delicate camera. So if you just turn and wave, then our Zoom community can see you. And we are in full, full presence to our, to our uh, family and friends. That's number one. Number two, I would like, and I'm so sorry, uh, Rob Silver, who is our extraordinary Torah reader for many years, wasn't feeling well. So he's at home. So I'm going to take on this task and will do my best. I know there are many of you wonder, not wonder, but um, might be here the first time uh, witnessing something like that. Or you might witness something like this, like bar or bat mitzvah. But here's the group of women who have never had contact uh, so close to the heart of our tradition. And uh, we make a big deal out of it for all the good reasons. Um, and I would, we would love to share the majesty of Torah scroll with you. So those of you who have not been near the scroll for a long time, or would like to see what inside looks like is a marvelous opportunity. We do this often when our bar and bat mitzvah young men and women come. I don't want to make an excuse here, but I think this is a moment. And timing-wise, we're doing really well. Can I ask those of you who are terribly curious, haven't been near the Torah for a long time, I will show you why it's such a big deal. So come. Don't let, after all this, you can't let me be here alone, please. <laughs> Exhibit compassion. Please, please come up if you have not seen. This is a marvelous, from all walks of life, uh, anywhere you are. So we have our guests, please, you, all our guests are welcome. So I'm going to unroll this. Please, 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 thank you. And maybe you have not seen Torah, I've been near the scroll in a long time. This is a beautiful thing. So would you hold this? Thank you very, very much. Lovely, please, welcome. So what, where we are right now, the Torah scroll is really five books of Moses, uh, or we call our Bible, it, and it begins with our Torah, begins with uh, creation of the world, and it will take us all the way till we're ready to enter the promised land. Moshe will die, and uh, we will be on our own, but he handed us this extraordinary tradition. So let me just uh, sh uh, share with you. So the reason it's an ancient form of writing and it will start, obviously, Hebrew is read from right to left. So you start on this side, and you can tell we started after Simchat Torah, after New Year, and there's a lot less on this side of the scroll than on this. That means we have a lot more to go, and we read weekly. So what makes the reading so extraordinary is the fact that there is no punctuation and there's no vowels. So you have to make a jump, right, from learning uh, this extraordinary text, let me just show you, those of you behind me, let me just put this. On this column, you've got little, do you see these little beautifully decorated jewelry spots, right? Like little, little swiggles or little dots or little commas. So first you learn how to read, they will help you to know how it sounds. And then you have to be brave enough to transport it to the next column where they're not. Right? So it requires not only the skill of memory, but ability to put together the sound, the visual, and uh, memory. So it is quite a, a, quite a work of art. What you see here is the Torah is, it takes several years to write it. If you make a mistake, you will have to rewrite that part. And if the mistake is made, you can discard it to actually bury it as a person, which is very interesting. And you see, there's these, it, all materials are natural. You've got wood, you've got hide. Uh, it has to be a kosher animal. And then you see the very, very beautiful lines, which you do not see. 
but the software, meaning the one who writes in a handwriting, will um, uh, make sure that the columns line up and we are capable to read from the tikkun, uh, meaning the place, the book which prepares us for reading. Takes years and incredible competency. Those who are really exceptional Torah readers do it all the time, and this is what they do. And the rest of us dip into it in and out, and Kenta Dana is a marvelous teacher, uh, but to read it is an absolute marvel, and you stand at awe. So to be able to comprehend, understand, and cherish it is the, our tradition. So any questions, quick questions for the, and it's very often people are afraid of it, no doubt. And the other, and I saw Kenta Dana with her wonderful eye. Do you see the column? There is no break. If you lose your place, you might as well start at the beginning and just start full. There's no break, no, no paragraph. So there are a number of columns in the previous, the, the Torah portion we just read, so you really have to pay attention and know your, your homework. So our women did, were extraordinary in learning. Is it a special type of ink? Is it? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. There is a, uh, the ink is made and there is a formula which they mixed and it's done with a, with a quill. It's actually done, please. How old is this Torah? I'm not sure about that. I'm sure we have all together five, I think five scrolls. One sc scroll we cannot read, the rest we read at high holidays and we danced with them. One scroll we cannot read, it is always wearing white. It was, uh, it's placed in the ark. It cannot be read because it's not kosher. And the reason it's not kosher is because during the war, it was placed or thrown into the warehouse and received quite a bit of water damage because Nazis' goal was to create a, um, a museum of extinct people. And this would have been one of the artifacts in the museum, meaning, you know, we wouldn't exist, but a damaged Torah scroll would. Uh, but we continue reading. So I'm Israel Chai, um, you know, may we continue uh, and uh, to offer this, this gift uh, to us. So, but this scroll looks old because you can tell that it, we repeatedly bring uh, every couple of years so far special people who actually fix and repair scrolls if it's needed and let us know if it can be continued reading it. Right, a beautiful moment in our congregational life used to be and may it come back. Just a second, I wanna make sure I'm fair to uh, Dana, where we finish, oh, there, my gosh, is right here, there. Just, that's another piece, a uh, moment that is interesting to see. Do you see this break here? Like there is a paragraph, right? Or at least opening. That's the beginning of the next Torah portion. And it's Vayigash Elav. And this is an extraordinary moment where Yehuda has had it with Pharaoh, not Pharaoh, I'm sorry, Pharaoh in com uh, second in command, that is Yosef. He doesn't know who Yosef is. He is, um, you know, second in command of Egypt, and he flies into his face, and uh, he says, no, you can keep me, but let them all go. I will be your slave. And uh, the, uh, then Yosef can't stand it anymore, begins to cry, and uh, reveals his identity. So it's a very dramatic, these are dramatic Torah readings. So anyway, wanted to share that with you, and everyone had a chance to look closer? Wonderful, okay. So, Robin, back to you and Ken today in extraordinary work in preparation of our students. And it is time now to call our Hagba and Galila forward this morning. Mark Machin and Pam Glass. Please rise. Pam Glass. Pam? That's okay. Torah, <laughs> 
Shars. So the Torah is being, um, this is usually the, my notes. Oh, so please excuse me, their notes. <laughs> So, just in case you wonder, we follow our service on a pretty tight outline, so we're all on the same page, service leaders, of what's about to take place. So, this is usually the moment where um, I, um, I address our B'nai Mitzvah students, uh, and uh, we have extraordinary uh, group of women who uh, took a plunge, and uh, thank you, uh, Karen Weinthal, who was absolutely relentless, the enthusiast of the project. And the reason um, we decided, so let me just uh, make note, the fact that it was right after COVID, and we had no idea if anyone would sign up and whether the class will be in person or whether we actually will gather for, our, for the ceremony itself. We, had, we weren't quite sure. And uh, Karen's perseverance and love of, uh, of, of the craft uh, convinced that we should do this. And uh, we weren't sure how many people will join, is there a need, but yet we heard voices throughout community, will there be a class that started from the last class that graduated? And every class that's graduated gets a little bit smaller and smaller and smaller. And uh, I think in my tenure, we've done four together at least, and then there were several classes prior, I've been here for 21 years. Uh, so we do it every couple, every several years. But uh, the good news is the class getting smaller because more women already had their adult bat mitzvah, bat mitzvah. so that's the good news, right? And, uh, but what's amazing is that if you think of diversity and l our strategic efforts to make Darhei Noam and open its uh, uh, doors wide, we have been never more diverse in the class uh, as such. And uh, it spans geography and ages. And so geography anywhere from Eastern Europe uh, under the rule of a harsh Soviet reality, which I share very, very much, and knowing the death of a Jewish life and then its necessary rebirth. Uh, to Americas, both central and uh, uh, that spans Mexico as well as, uh, as Argentina. And uh, here locally in Toronto, where Judaism did not come through the way of, of nurturance, but maybe has come through care, but not necessary uh, with depth of knowledge and confidence that we need to be able to um, do and be equal members of, the, of our Jewish society. And there is so many ways to nurture your Jewish identity, and very often they're missing. It might be warmth in the family, but you might show up in the synagogue and been shushed and sent upstairs to sit with women and at times gossip. Uh, it could have been where it was available in a larger community, but family did not come through with affirmation and love to give you that push or practice, and there was this divergence. It also could have come from where there's just, you've got a Jewish name, you've got Jewish family, and nowhere to learn, and you have whispers of tradition that gives you some sense of your Jewishness, but an overall nothing and fear. I remember first time I saw a rock of talitot hanging in the synagogue and people could borrow talit and put it on. I got really nervous and walked away. I remember I back up. Um, the ritual object was, 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 was foreign to me. It took a really long time to develop a connection. Our children are back. So what I want to say to our dear students, uh, courageous women who, um, you know, no doubt signs will say, we learn, it takes us longer to learn as we get older. It also tells us that this is what keeps us young, truly young, and that is learning, and our tradition knew that uh, forever. 
to take this up at this mature stage of one's life and to cherish this Torah with such beauty, to see you sitting and learning with Cantor Dana with such patience and love of tradition and detail and to be able to give you Torah for you to claim it as your own legacy and stand and, and be witness among your family and your friends is a magical moment. So to your dear teacher, Rabbi Arshinov, who came often steady and loving, and um, see, uh, Baruch Siena, whose classes are beloved both in our Torah study and in our classes, year after year helping us, uh, and to all of you, your heart uh, and openness, what gave these extraordinary women courage to be able to do so at any age, right? And then, uh, you know, I heard original, you know, the blessing, the first blessing, uh, opening blessing of the, to, before the Torah is read, and uh, 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 the group stumbled. And it stumbled for a good reason. Because if it comes to you from your childhood, did you see our children here in the Bima? They know it. They know it by osmosis. They've heard it. And they will hear it more and more by the time they're 13. It's going to come easy in their sleep. But for some of us, it is a really climb to the mountain of Sinai. But when you're up there and you hold this tradition right there, it's quite a sight. So for your courage, for your love of Judaism, may I just say that the sanctuary was filled with your ancestors. You know, there were grandmothers who wiped, you know, their hands over their aprons and said, Oy vey smir, what are they doing? <laughs> and then there were those who wore red lipsticks and high heel shoes who said, mm, I never thought it can be so exciting. <laughs> and then there are those who said, hide your tradition I'm not sure it's worth it. They've been clubbing us for years and will do so. And you said to all of them, this is my time and I'm going to cherish it and I need it. And I need it at the stage of our Jewish life and our societal life and our life of our community. Without it, I'm drowning. With it, I have something to hold and to love and I have a passport in this world of ours. This is what we do here, and this is what you demonstrated to, to all our incredible grand grandmothers who also stood at the Sinai, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, Weleya. May you receive this blessing of peace and of courage. Let us say. to tell you, Rabbi, as you spoke, I saw my booby from what Russia. What was she wearing? What was she wearing? My booby was a stunner. Ah. It was Russian. No. Well, maybe. maybe. <laughs> but she did that. She did this, and she wiped her hands here, and she cooked, and she always had red nail polish and lipstick and a mink, because in Montreal, you wore a mink stole. So, Robin, what would she say to you right now on account of this when we used to go to Montreal as children, my mother was the, I'll just. Please, go her. ahead now. You, were, was you had a bat mitzvah. one of her siblings of four children who left Montreal to marry a man and move to Chatham, Ontario. A Polisha yet. Oi. And so when my sister and I and my mom and sometimes my dad went to Montreal and we it was party central at my boobie's house with all of the cousins, aunties, and uncles. And they would this and this and this. But my boobie would take her mouth and eat our cheeks and say, I love it. I love it. Every time. That's what she would do. I love it. I love it. I love it, everybody. L'chaim. <laughs> And I saw the others that you mentioned, but we won't go into that now, enough. <laughs> we will be able to talk more uh, okay. at the Kiddush. Uh, at after Kiddush. you have, you uh, will have something scrumptious to eat, we're gonna sit down and have conversation. And our, uh, 
extraordinary women have a lot to share with you about their journey, so please stay, and it should be a lovely after Kiddush conversation, and then we'll give you dessert. So, please. And so we will ask you to rise again as we offer a prayer for Israel, for Canada, and for our community. Tzur Yisrael v'go'alo, protector and redeemer of Israel, bless the state of Israel and all her inhabitants with cur the courage and the strength to pursue peace and equality. Shield it beneath the wings of your love, send your light and wisdom to Israel's leaders and judges and to those who elect and appoint them, guiding them with your good counsel and aligning them with your spirit of justice and kindness. Grant peace in the land and in the region, fulfillment of her people's hopes and joy for all who dwell there. V'simchad olam liyoshveha v'namar amen. And a blessing for Canada and our community. Receive with compassion our prayer on behalf of our country and its government. Bless the rich tapestry of Canada that we may know the blessings of unity and inclusion. May we strive for true reconciliation and justice for all people. May our country be an influence for good within the family of all nations, helping to bring peace, justice, and freedom, and an end to strife for all. And bless this congregation as we discover the love of Torah, devotion in prayer, the rewards of tzedakah, and the joy of community, and the gift of diversity. Bless all who enter this place and this space of worship, that the covenant here may be worthy of the greatness and love that is godliness, and that all who seek your presence here may find it. And let us say, Amen. And bless us. Absolutely. Um, we also have a prayer for hostages. So we take a moment. Um, Ivina Shabashamai, Rock and Redeemer of Israel, strengthen and deliver all who stand on guard, protecting their homes. Safeguard and save them from any trouble and distress and bless their actions. Hear their prayers and ours and deliver them. Save those who are trapped in their homes. Grant them inner strength, faith and hope. Help them during these terrifying times. Send your mercy to the anxious mothers and hurting fathers and the children sitting in shelters May it be your will to remember us, to take notice of us, to meet us with compassion, for we trust in you. Return all those kidnapped safe and sound to their homes. Without the spilling of innocent blood, without their souls becoming tarnished. Strengthen those who protect our holy land, soldiers and civilians alike. We pray nation shall not lift sword against nation and they will study war no more. Compassionate God, please, may your mercy stirred for us and for all people. And may the verses be fulfilled from the seed of peace. The wine shall produce its fruit. The land shall produce its yield and the skies shall provide their moisture. May the land and all who are there to be blessed. And let us say, Amen. We continue on page 
Yeah, hallelujah, Shem Adonai, Kini Skav Shemo Levado, Hodo Aleretz Vishamayim, Vayarem Keren Leamo, Tila Lechol Chasidav, Livne Yisrael Am Kerovo. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Page 441. <laughs> Torati Altazovu Eitz Chaim Hi Lamachazikim Ba Vetzom Cheha Meushar Derachecha Darcheno Bukhonativoteha Shalom Hashivenu Adonai Ilecha Vinashuva Khadeshameinu I'm going to ask you to remain standing. I'm going to ask uh, women who have been bat mitzvah this morning to come forward to the bima for a blessing. I'm going to ask Kenter Dana to join me and Karen Weinfeld, please, as well. And uh, we're going to bless our children. So can I ask all our children to come forward? We're on page 319. <coughs> so, so we have some yummy, yummy treats for you. And the blessing comes with sweetness. It looks... By the, judging by the shine of your eyes, I think that whatever happened downstairs was really good. Okay, everyone, who, yes, please, 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 in a hurry, yes, yes, yes. So please join me as one generation blesses the next every Shabbat.
May the eternal bless you, protect you. May the eternal face give light to you and show you favor. May the eternal face be lifted towards you and bring you peace. And let us say, Amen. Amen. We remain standing and turn to page 445 for the Elenu. Alenu le shabe akladon hakom la take it la leotzer breshit shenatan la nu Torah temet vechae olam nata betochenu banachnu korim umishachavim umodim lifne melech mache hamlachim akadosh varuhu. Kakatuv betoratecha Adonai imloch le'olam v'ahed V'nehemar v'haya Adonai L'melech al kol Bayom hahu, bayom hahu, ye Adonai echad. Ushemo, ushemo, ushemo echad. Please be seated. This is, the, this is a moment for memory. Um, there is something very, very beautiful about having children run into the, like door opens up and there's like no control, right? There is this sweet chaos that just, that they're just that force that comes. And um, it's a bit easier to carry grief in a community when there is a next generation so boisterous uh, and filled with mischief and promise. Uh, and we're here to remember in the reciting the Kaddish way from our awareness of holiness in our world, much of our experience of divine goodness, grace, and love has come to us through those whose lives have touched our own. Gerald Silver remember his sister Arlene Silver. Rochelle Monas remembers her mother Lillian Monas. Ilan Jure and Danielle Jure remember their mother Lucy Jure. Ellen Falk remembers her father Mark Perlman. Max Perlman, forgive me. Yaakov Kahan, remember his parents, Moish and Shandel Laser. And Dichtenberg, remembers her father, Oscar Dichtenberg. Allison Epstein, remembers her father, Paul David Epstein. Les Klein, remembers his father, Joel Klein. Bernard Ornstein, remembers his father, Sam Ornstein. Kathy Passov, remembers her brother, Stephen Goldenberg. Congregation offers the heartfelt condolences to our member Ruth Abrams and the loss of her husband Lou Abrams. The funeral was held this Friday. Please check uh, Benjamin's for the uh, Shiva uh, notice of details. And um, also, as we send announcements, there is uh, both address and the times for Shiva. The following families are in a period of Shloshim, Cheryl Smolkin, and Joel Troster are mourning the loss of their brother and brother-in-law, Ira Ellen Smolkin, Rochelle Monas, and Larry Tamun, also mourning the loss of Rochelle's second mother and mother-in-law, Mar Margie Wagner. Those of you who are on Zoom, uh, you're welcome to unmute if you in a period of mourning and remembrance, move a little bit away from the mic and you're welcome to place the names of those who have not been called uh, in chat so people can offer you words of comfort. Are there any names I need to add to this list that have not been spoken? Please. 
zikrono lebraqa me ask mourners and those who observe your site rise kadishia tom page 451 yitkadal ve yitkadash me haba bealma divra hirutei ve yamlih malhutei baha yehon ve yomhon ve khayed kol beit israel ba galau vizman kari ve mu Yeheshme Rabba Mevorach Leolam Alme Almaya Yidbach Vishtabach Vid Poar Vid Roman Vid Nase Vid Hadar Vid Ale Vid Alal Shmedekudesha La Ella Min Kolbir Hata Vishirata Tushbehata Venehamata Da Miran Bel Mavim Hu Yehesh Lama Rabba Min Shamaya Vehaim Alenu ve al Kol Israel ve imru. O se shalom ve imru mav. Huya se shalom. Alenu ve al Kol Israel ve al Kol Yoshvei Tevel ve imru. May the one who creates harmony above make peace for us and for all Israel and for all who dwell on earth and let us say. So. We are in a moment of um, all life and Jewish life. Um, joy is wedded to sorrow and then back to joy. It's like a challah, right? It doesn't exist without. But when it's good, you mark it. When it's good, dance and sing and celebrate and eat. For this is your moment and it's a gift. So I'm going to ask our bat mitzvah class, all I have notice of this in my outline is it said I'm reading but mitzvah class speaks. So ladies, it's your, the microphone is yours and just we keep in mind the fact that between your speech and between you and speech, there is kid, after there is kiddush. So uh, you, we want you to come up and take your rightful place. That you can speak from here or from this mic. So please come up. Is there so yeah that's good you can take this are several of you speaking uh, so please come i oh think no. together everything yeah. yes we can if dylan was here he would say three two, two. one go <laughs> <laughs> Dear congregation, our one year long journey as a part of uh, adult bat mitzvah group is coming to the end. It is sad, but it was filled with a great, it was great time filled with learning and reading and discussions and singing and eating. And we are really sad that we are through with it. But our life long journey as a Jewish person as a part of our Jewish community continues. We are very grateful to our teachers who gave us the riches of their knowledge and the warmth of their hearts who inspired us. To our families and friends who supported us on our really long journey. <laughs> and of course, to all of you, to the whole Dar Noam community. And our special thanks goes to Rabbi Tina, to Kantor Dina, and to Karen. And we have something small for you. Thank you. How beautiful. Thank you very, very much for a <laughs> foremost.
above all, your extraordinary contribution to our life. May you grow from strength to strength. <laughs> what wonderful gifts at this point, and this is another surprise. I'd like to invite up Danielle Glucksman. Shabbat Shalom. A few months ago, we gathered to celebrate Rabbi Tina's incredible 21 years of leadership. As a tribute, we presented her with a special gift, but little did she know that there was a second part to this gift. Over the subsequent months, our members and friends contributed by sharing photos, stories, and cherished memories of their time with Rabbi Tina. These heartfelt contribu contributions were carefully compiled to create a unique and personal gift, a testament to the profound impact she has had on our community. Rabbi Tina, with deep respect and gratitude, we, the staff, board, and members of Dar Noam are honored to present you with this meaningful collection. It symbolizes not just 21 years of your leadership, but the countless lives you've touched and shaped. May these memories bring you joy and serve as a reminder of the incredible mark you've left on our community. Okay, any more surprises? Anything else? <laughs> I think we're good. Uh, which is all to say, join us downstairs for Kiddush. We have Israeli dancing and a beautiful program happening. Danny, you're ready. I invite you to rise in body or in spirit. We're on page 465 for Vishamru. I'm going to invite up already. We've got Julio and, Aliv and Olivia Lasky. Solomon Minkin and Kathy Sakura, who are going to come and help with Kiddush and with Motsi and the, the Adelpa Mitzvah class. Come on up. Everyone should just come on up. And let's join together. Page 465. Vishamru. Sheshet yamim asa Adonai, asa Adonai, et ha-shamayim ve-et ha-aretz v'shamru v'nei Israel et ha-shabbat la-sot et ha-shabbat le-dorot ha-berit olam U-vayom ha-shvi'i shabbat v'inafash shabbat v'inafash shabbat v'inafash Anybody? Anybody. Anybody. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom! See you downstairs for Kiddush. Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov to all the families. Kiddush downstairs.